The Northern Patriotic Agenda has condemned the recent call by Aliyaji Rabi Kwankosu and Kano State Governor Haba Yusuf to overthrow the government of President Bola Ahmed Tinubu. Speaking at a press conference in Abuja, Dr. Agabi Himano, the convener of the group, described Kwankosu's letter to members of the new Nigeria People's Party NMPP, in the National Assembly as a deep threat gambit to savage his whining political influence and a threat to the stability of the government. According to Emmanuel, Kwankwazo blatant disgrace for the constitution and fundamental democratic principles is nothing to short of alarming, necessitating heightened vigilance from law enforcement agencies to thwart his sinister plot and ensure the safety well-being of our citizens. Himanu also said, therefore, he employed law enforcement agencies to exercise heightened vigilance towards Kwankwasu, mechanization which imperial the stability of our government and undermine the democratic principles enshrined in our constitution, he added. This latest massive constitutes merely one instance of Kwankwaso motivated and endeavors to subvert the administration of Bola Amentinumbu group also criticizing Governor Abba Yusuf for neglecting his gubernatorial duties and engaging in political grandstanding perpetuating the sovereign of the people of Kano. The Northern Patriotic Agenda addressed Kwankwaso and Governor Yusuf to retrace their steps and thrift for progressive leadership. President Tinubu has deliberately opted to lead an administration distinguished by its commitment to inclusivity, a stance that does not imply tolerance for mindless agitation, political machinations, or destructive tendencies that seek to undermine the enduring legacy he endeavors to establish. This administration remains steadfast in its dedication to fostering meaningful progress and development in Nigeria, eschewing juvenile political maneuvering in favor of a principled leadership that prioritizes the greater good. President Tinubu's administration unwavering prioritizes inclusivity, progress, and development shunning petty politics and partisan squabbles. We stand resolute in our opposition to anti-democratic forces, pledging our unwavering support for the President's global initiatives, which unequivocally serve the interests of the general public. Furthermore, we take great exception to the conduct of Kano State Governor, Abba Kadu Yusu, who has surrendered to the queens and caprices of Tankaso, neglecting his gubernatorial duties in favor of trivial causes, such as persecuting his predecessor, demolishing structures erected by past administrations, and exacerbating unemployment in Kano. Instead of fulfilling his role as a responsible governor, he has, he has opted to engage in political grandstanding recklessly jeopardizing the well-being of Kano citizens in a misguided quest for political ascendancy. Governor Abakari, or Abakari continues to validate the criticisms of the detractors, demonstrating a palpable lack of political acumen and leadership vision. Through his actions, he persistently disappoints and disillusions the citizens of Kano exacerbating their struggles instead of alleviating them. The populace of Kano deserves the experience or to experience the benefits of effective governance akin to their counterparts in other states and are entitled to rejoice in the prosperity and progress of their state rather than lamenting the outrageously bad shortcomings of their leader. By these misguided decisions, Governor Kabir perpetuates the suffering of the people, perpetuating a cycle of hardship and despair.